Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. In this video, we'll learn about a widget known as Stack. Let me just show you a demo first. As you can see in this demo, we have arranged the images such that this image is overlapping a container at the back side. See, you can do wonders with Stack. There are times when you need to attach or you need to arrange the items such that they are overlapping each other. So Stack make it possible. Let us first understand what is the meaning of the terminology stack. So stack means something which is piled up. Uh, so basically you will be piling and positioning the widgets one over the others. Right. So let's learn how we can use stack to make attractive UIs in a Flutter app. The growing developer. So let's begin. I have a demo application going on and you can see that for the body part I have only the container right so let's remove this container and just replace it with stack okay so stack takes multiple children therefore we have a parameter known as children not child a list of widgets now inside this you have to pass the widgets that you want to place now the widget that is placed first will come at the bottom and then further as the list goes on the further widgets will be placed on the top of the other widgets so make sure that in stack you have to pass positioned widgets only that is we have a widget known as position right as a child you pass the widget that you want so i'll pass a container which is of color black right colors dot black and i'll give it a height of 100 pixels right save it and you can see a container of height 100 pixels let me just increase the height to 200 here there you go positioned has four optional parameters top bottom left and right that means you can specify how much padding you want from the top bottom right and left now let me just try giving a padding of top 10 pixels that is i want to position this container such that it is having 10 pixels padding from top if I save it, you can see that container is gone. Whenever you are specifying where to position the widget, make sure you are giving at least two or three parameters. If two parameter doesn't work, try giving three parameters. That is top, bottom, left, right, any three or any two. Right? So here I'll give left as zero and right as zero. That is, I don't want any padding from the horizontal axis. I just want the container to be shifted downwards by 10 pixels, right? Save it and you can see that container is shifted. Let me just shift it more 20 and you can see that it is shifted more. Let me just remove this. The container was fine there. Okay, now the next position widget will be overlapping this container. Let me just try giving. I'll be copying this position and pasting it again. Save it. Wait a minute. Let me just change the color to maybe yellow. Save it. And you can see that this container is overlapping the previous container. How we can see that? Let me just give some uh, padding of 50 pixels from top and left and right will be same. Zero, comma, right will also be zero. Save it and you can see that this uh, and you can see that this container is shifted by 50 pixels from top. Instead of this container, let me just try giving an image. So I'll remove this container and instead I'll write image.asset I have an image in a set images slash detective Pikachu remember to add the extension here and save it and you can see that we have an image overlapping the previous container now what if I increase the top padding now as you can see that as I have increased the top padding the image is shifted downwards but it is not taking up the entire screen the other half is still white that's because we haven't uh, given any parameters to the opening position widget. So let me just try giving top as zero, left and right as zero. That is, I'm positioning it where it is right now. So now you can see that it is working fine. Now let's try giving some padding from left. There you go. It, it is shifted from left and from right too. Let me just give. 50-50 uh, padding from left and right okay there you go now is it is having 100 pixels padding from above 
and 50-50 from left and right respectively. And to save some time, I have a commented text here. So I'll just copy it and paste it after this position. Now, one thing to uh, note here is that you should always use position widget. So I'll wrap it in position and give it a padding of 200 pixels from top. And you can't specify only one padding. So I have to give three padding. So I'm giving it here and you can see this text is also overlapping this. So let me just give it a top of 400. And now you can see that you can do wonders with stack. So that's it. Bring out your creativity. Try making some beautiful UIs using stack. Don't worry. In the weekend video, we'll be implementing this stack to make a beautiful UI. Stay tuned. Please drop a comment if you like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Hope you learned something from this video. Goodbye. Have a nice day.